Chapati, and we're here at the Conscious Life Expo in a very special pyramid type of a way with a very special guest, Mr. Pyramid, Nick Edwards. Hi, how are you doing? Pleasure to have you here. Pleasure to have uh, you doing the video. You know, pyramids go back a long, long way. You know, I know I've read about them and I know. Uh, in the land of Egypt, I was reading when I was a small boy, I was seeing pictures thousands of years back. Thousands of years back. But they have more than a physical presence. They are very, must be very spiritual monuments, as you might right. say. So tell me information about the pyramid to begin. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I got into this was a, when I was a child. I saw them in the history books, ancient Egypt, pyramids, and I've always wondered how can these nomads in the desert, riding camels, living in tents, build the biggest, most perfect structures ever created on the surface of the earth, just like that. And I, I realized over time that they de-evolved. They started at their peak, and as the centuries went on, the pyramids got shabbier and shabbier. So that's just the opposite of how it should have happened. They should have started building shabby pyramids, and then as time went on, they got better and better. But it didn't happen that way. And there's enough, or there's more scientific proof now that the pyramids are 50,000 years old than they are 5,000 years old. Yeah. So I believe we were visited, and the people that came to the Earth found that uh, the energy here was different. So they and they were living less uh, years. They were used to living two or 3,000 years, and here they're living eight or 900 years. So they built the pyramids to change the frequency of the planet so they could live longer. That was the main reason they were built, to live longer. And that's what the pyramids do. It's like they're a net. If you put a, a fishing rod into the ocean, which has the fish in it already, you get one fish. If you throw a net, you'll get more fish than you can even put in your boat. This is the net of catching the cosmic energy. Ah. They're a resonator, it's shape, form, energy. That's why they were built to a very particular shape. Yes. And the shape has the Phi uh, Fibonacci ratio built into it. The same ratio you see in seashells, galaxies form in the same pattern with billions of stars and there's billions of galaxies. And the pyramid fashion. Yeah, and it's so, the most powerful energy in the universe. Let me take this for example. And this is the net that catches it. It's like a lens that focuses light. And it has healing effects. It has anti-aging effects. Explain me though, explain to me, okay? I know I've read about the pyramids of Giza, mm -hmm. you know, in Egypt. Thousands of years, but when you're saying a whole lot, 50,000, yes. That's a long time back, you know. Have they done the carbon studies oh, yeah. to actually show that they're actually of this age? Not only do the carbon uh, studies show that the salt deposits on the pyramids uh, were at a time where the water level went all the way almost to the top. And there wasn't enough water on the planet yeah. to do that in that area unless you go back 38,000 years. So they have to be that age? Yeah. Not only that, they were never made with copper tools. Each one of these millions of blocks per pyramid, there's millions, and they're each the size of an automobile, and you can't even stick a business card between them. They have milling marks from a machine that cut them. They were all cut perfectly. They're laser straight, the blocks. Everything is more perfect than we even can develop today. 
the statues, the palaces, Karnak, everything was carved. And uh, Christopher Dunn, which wrote the book, The Giza Power Plant, is an engineer and he proved it. He wrote a whole book about every piece of stone in ancient Egypt was cut on a machine. And that's way before the Egyptians were there. This is Food with Life. We're at the Conscious Life Expo. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Food with Life. I am your host, Chapati. So, I'm fascinated with what you have here and, and more important, the pyramid. Tell me how this, the resonance of the pyramid, how it ties in with our inner being, with our essence, our psyche, so to speak, about, <coughs> and the relationship here. Yeah. Uh, this energy, this sacred geometry, does something to the human body. It allows awareness to increase, it allows our vibration to increase, it allows us to live longer in the uh, three-dimensional reality that our bodies live in, but it also takes our consciousness to the next higher level. When you meditate or put one of these over your head or you go into a bigger one, like we have over here, A guru from Tibet would have for 40 years living in the cave. Right. Explain to me the geometry. How does this, what is it about the geometry, maybe atomically or the structure, that has some resonance with this psyche? Understand? Because everything is based on uh, the Fibonacci ratio. What is the name of it? Fibonacci ratio. Um, This is a four billion year old ammonite, a fossil. You see the uh, spiral? That's, that's called the Fibonacci ratio. And our whole body is based on this. Our proportions are based on this. One to 1.618. Um, and our DNA is the same as this. Everything about the human and our brain is based, even our brain lobes have the same thing. So There's the Nubian pyramid that uses the ratio directly on the outside dimensions, 1, 1 1.618. Uh -huh. Here it's used in the cross section. So how would this fit, fit in with the, the term of pi, the three point? It's all, that's what pi comes from. Yes. The, okay, do this. the height of the Cheops Pyramid, if yes. you use as a radius, that's pi, right. and it circumscribes a circle, the circle will have the same square area as the base of the pyramid. Right. So what the Egyptians did is they squared a circle mathematically, which is impossible, right. but right. they did it in their architecture. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back, okay? okay. Thank you. I am your host, Chapati. We're at the Conscious Life Expo with our special guest, Nick Edwards, talking about wonders of pyramids. We'll be right back. Stay with us. This is Food with Life. Welcome back to Food with Life. I am your host, Chapati. We're here at the Conscious Life Expo with our special guest, Mr. Pyramid, Nick Edwards. <laughs> Welcome to have you. Very nice. Thank you. So, the concept of pi is what I had learned when I was a boy, all about geometry and with pyramids and all. Mm -hmm. Explain how it ties in here. Okay. The Great Pyramid of Egypt is a square of a circle or a hemisphere. Yes. And the, the pi 
uh, ratio is given the height of the pyramid yes. to its base. Yes. Now, if the height of the pyramid circumscribed the circle, that circle would have the same square area. I'm more interested in, uh, that's the geometry. How does that geometry tie in with the physiology? You know okay. what I'm saying, the resonance. The right. the, and I know you were wearing a uh, geometric symbol around your neck. Yeah. So it must have a healing quality for right. the physiology. Perhaps a synchronicity, you know? Mm -hmm. Explain this a bit uh, for us. Okay, you want me to do this one? Well, uh, any, any okay, this, well the pyramid. Uh, possibly a pyramid. Right. This is the easiest. Here we have in the Cheops pyramid, the Fibonacci ratio, which is the spiral you see here, it creates all living things to, in the yeah, same yeah, form. Yeah. It's form energy. In the Cheops, it's in the cross section. In this, all right, all right. in yeah. this Fibonacci yeah. pyramid, it's direct. One, one point six one eight. All right. And that gives you the golden section, phi. Okay. And our DNA is in that uh, That's what I'm hitting. dimension. That's what I'm hitting in the yeah, DNA that ratio. physiology. Right. How does the DNA tie in with this? Because it all vibrates at the same frequency. There's a resonance. Then. Yeah, a resonance. These are form resonators. Our bodies are form resonators. We're all built into this ratio, really? including galaxies form billions of stars, billions of galaxies, the most powerful energy in the universe. and you make a resonator in that shape, it picks it up. Like a, a lens magnifies light. It's like a knit. This is the knit to catch the... I developed this pyramid together. Yes. And it's about 20 times more powerful for the same size of a Cheops. Wow. So it has a... If you're wearing a pyramid uh, necklace or a bracelet or something, it definitely helps with the resonance oh, yeah. and the physiology. Or you put your favorite piece of jewelry on top or inside, right. and uh, it gets charged with energy, and you don't have to have the pyramid, you just wear the jewelry. Well, what about a doctor using this as a type of a therapy for mm -hmm. healing? I've worked with doctors uh, for the last 40 years, and the doctors that use these pyramids over their patients are next to their patients, the patients heal twice as fast. Wow. I started, uh, Dr. Flanagan met me because he's read an article in a medical journal about a dentist that puts the implants that go in the jaw, some periosteal implants, in the pyramid before they go in the patient and the patient doesn't have the rejection. There was a 40% natural rejection rate from the trauma caused by putting the blades in your jaw right. that hold the here yes. for three days, right. three days before implantation, no rejection, wow. no pain afterwards, and less swelling, just Phenomenal. because it was put in the pyramid. The yeah. I would think, you know, I, I, I a chiropractor. Oh, yeah. I sell thousands. And the body is in balance, the body heals itself. You don't need a medicine, you don't need anything. The pyramid balances the body better than anything else. It's remarkable. You know, are there any actual medical doctors that are in this oh, in their treatments? I have hundreds. Wow. And in Taiwan, I have a whole group. Uh, this doctor owns five hospitals, and he has this pyramid, the one that's big enough to treat the human body in every patient room. Right, right. About at least twice to three times faster healing. Ah. <laughs> it's so remarkable, you know. It's right in front of our nose. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the only it. science on the earth. Yeah, you know I'm saying we've been given this by the divine. Yeah, you know? by the divine. Why not are we using it? You know, someone took the like Dr. Flanagan. He took the measurements of the pyramids when he was in Egypt, and he found that hey, this is sacred geometry. Right. Not only are they perfectly straight, perfectly flat, aligned, but they have the most powerful sacred geometry, the resonators. Hold on to that thought. I want to get that in a minute. We'll take a break, okay? okay. I am your Chapati. This is Food with Life. We'll be right back. Stay with us. I am your Chipati, and we're here at the Conscious Life Expo with our wonderful friend, Mr. Pyramid, Nick Edwards. Mm -hmm. You were talking uh, all about this, the structure of the pyramid, and now we're beginning to see the power. And I know it, it has a phenomenal electrical power. Right. Tell me something about it here. I know you have this machine. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to put high, uh, this is a half a million volt Tesla coil. <laughs> And we're going to run it through the pyramid so you can see what the energy actually looks like. The pyramid is doing this by all by itself, but on a lesser scale. And what I'm going to show you now is what's really happening where you can see the energy. I better move back. How far back should I be? Right there, you're fine. This is okay? Yeah. <clears throat> you say half a million volts? Yeah, and you'll see the energy. That's the energy. And without the Tesla coil, it's still doing it, but on a lesser um, scale. <coughs> you can see it's perfectly harmless. It's kicking anything out of your body. My hand here? Yeah. How close? Slow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I stay here. Yeah. So that's what the energy looks like. <clears throat> if we had the lights off, you would actually see the, uh, you can see it if you look carefully, the pink and purple energy coming off at a right angle, and Tesla said that's the life force. That's what heals people. And that's what the pyramid does. It produces a healing energy that gives you a longer life and better health and higher consciousness. And here you do, you can see it. So, therapists could use this in some way, but not with this type of a machine. Well, I, I've used this to heal people. But I'm not a medical doctor, and the doctors uh, got very upset because I took away their business. So I either had to go to court or stop healing people. Probably so they don't have never done any medical research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works like uh, crazy. And uh, I can tell you miraculous stories, but I'm not because I'm not a doctor. I don't want to get involved in that no, anymore. No, no. I let the doctors use these machines to heal people. Tell me about the pyramids and how they help pets, people's pets, and, the, and their children, and you know. Yeah, the, uh, we have smaller pyramids for pets. The pets love it. They get more energy. They can sense the energy. They know it's there right away. Right. They, they'll walk up to the pyramid and start purring if it's a cat or a dog. Gets all excited, like uh, they just got rejuvenated. Right. And I have hundreds of people that say, my dog has had arthritis. He can't jump up on the bed anymore. We put the pyramid over the bed, and in two days, the dog's jumping up on the bed again. They said, it's a miracle. I mean, how, it's, it's rejuvenation is what yeah. it is. And we have a cat door, and not only do I have my two cats up on the bed every night, but I got three of the neighbor's cats. <laughs> they come because they like the energy. Yeah. I, I wake up, there's five cats on the bed. Do they ever have an idea, maybe a, some type of a pyramid you could put over your whole house? Well, is that too crazy? That's, that's too expensive. Just a uh, big pyramid over your bed, like the mothership over here. That's the same thing as if you had a pyramid roof or a whole pyramid house. You're wow. going to get the same energy. So why waste all the extra money? Right, right. It's true. So, what about the, like, the, when you're moving around the house, you go to the, the bed? Well, if you're sleeping under a pyramid, you're going to have enough energy in your body. And you're, you're the, we're 72% water and that water charges up and it carries the charge so that's all you need is the eight hours of sleep and you've got this energy working to you to give you uh, anti-aging anti-radicals 
better vision, better hearing, yes. more. But it makes you happier. That's the best thing. Happier and better sex, better everything. Lighten, everything gets better. Liven the spirit. Yeah, yeah. It's like having a nice margarita. Well, margarita <laughs> natural, margarita with yeah. no alcohol. Yeah. Healthy margarita. So, is the, would the pyramid just be hanging yeah. from the ceiling? Yeah, it just hangs like you see over here. Oh, I see, yes. And um, I've been doing this for 40 years. It's my number one product is the pyramid you sleep on. Wow. What I'd like to do, experience actually being inside the pyramid. Okay. And we have oh, you have one. The, my latest model right here. This is Food with Life. We're at the Conscious Life Expo. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Food with Life. I am your host, Chapati. And this is the Nubian or Fibonacci ratio, which is a more powerful design. And it's, this design is best for meditation ah. or for just sitting and relaxing. So it actually has an influence on you when you are meditating. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel the buzz. I'm sure you do too. Uh -huh, like yeah. you feel a little more comfortable. A little, little charge around me. Yeah, right? you feel like almost like you're flying. You right, know. right. Light. You feel light. So what about like? Because I know meditation and many of them, the idea is to settle down and right. to have that inner quietness. So do you want this charge? Well, How does that work. Um, in a different environment where there's less people and things going on, it's going to have the opposite effect. It's going to, you'll feel a charge, but then you'll feel the relaxation. Right. And if uh, you had the brainwave equipment on, you would see that you're with biofeedback, that right. you're right. starting with theta, delta, and right. getting uh, the brainwaves in the right area. Right. But it's, uh, it enhances the meditation. Right. And this is, uh, my gift to the people that li love to meditate and when you meditate you get pure thought you get pure answers to your questions yes it's not bogged down by your conscious or all this stress right. you get the answer from inside of you your right. your connection to the cosmos or to God right yeah I think that's the, the key for wanting this is that that connection that charge you know inner charge I, in my eyes, it's a question of healing, mm -hmm. you know? I love when I can do something or do nothing, <laughs> and suddenly, what? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it's gone. Whatever, uh, I may have an illness or mm -hmm. maybe a scratch or something. I love using a natural remedy which does no effort, and the healing just seems to vanish. Mm -hmm. Right. The uh, best way to heal a, a small type of injury is you, char you have a, a special pyramid dedicated to water. Yes. Water charges like a battery ah. and it takes water back to its more natural state and that water you put on the uh, scratch or the cut it will heal ten times faster. That's a, this is water that's been in a pyramid for about five days or longer and you'll see the little micro bubbles forming the oxygen or O3 bubbles forming and once you see all those little bubbles, you know the water is ready uh, to be used. If you pour it on a sick plant, the plant comes back to life. Right, right. Uh, or you have a plant that gets twice as big within a few days. It right. just goes crazy. It's like uh, super grow, but it's natural. It's amazing, though, but I, I, I love what you're saying. And I love the whole thing about how it affects water. Mm -hmm. You've done some work with... Yes, uh, I worked with Dr. Flanagan and uh, Emoto, Dr. Emoto, uh, where we look at the water as it crystallizes when it gets frozen. All right. And any pyramid water has beautiful crystals like snowflakes. Incredibly beautiful. You could frame pictures of them. Everyone's different. And you take the water out of the tap or even bottled water. You think bottled water is good. It's not. you got to charge it with good energy, like the pyramid. I am your host, Chapati. We want to thank you very much for watching Food With Life. Stay with us. We'll see you very soon. Enjoy, be happy, and... My website is powerpyramids.com. Watch your pyramid. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.